Hey guys, I am back. This is Fia from Fia's Handmade Soaps. I haven't really been making any um, regular videos. Um, not regular, I mean like um, on like a normal schedule like I usually do. Because, you know, uh, I'm preparing for a fair and I've just been really refilling or restocking a lot of the stuff I already made in the previous videos. And I felt like you guys wouldn't even want to, you know, um, rewatch you know, watch me remaking soap that I already made before, so I just was like, eh, I'll just, you know, come back if I was making something new, so I'm just trying a new design here. I have a, a fan on in the window because it is really hot in here. <laughs> it is really hot in here. So, <clears throat> the soap I'm making today is a lavender uh, vanilla soap. And I'm calling it La Bibba. <laughs> Trying to make it sound fancy. <laughs> so this is La Bibba soap. And um, I'm just going to, I know the vanilla is, is going to turn brown. So like dark chocolate brown. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that off. I'm, I think I'm going to do, um, not a drop swirl. I'm not an impop swirl. I'm going to do a drop swirl. So these are my oils. That's kale and clay. I got my fragrances here. One vanilla, one um, lavender fragrance instead of the essential oils this time. I already have a soap made with the essential oils, so I decided to just go with uh, both fragrance oils this time. Um, I got my lavender colored uh, mica and some uh, lavender colored glitter to go on top. And I was thinking of making a little, um, maybe put a little yellow in it really like really pale yellow because I'm not using any titanium dioxide today I didn't feel like you know dealing with that so because <laughs> uh, this water this uh, soap is water discounted to uh, 1.5 to 1 ratio of uh, water to lie so um, let's get started I'm going to blend in the kaolin into the oils before I uh, add the lye let me see in my position So I'll just blend this up first. The purple. I decided to just, no, I am not. <laughs> I do want to pour some out to give me some, uh, a little yellow. Not a lot, just a little bit. That might be more than I really wanted, but... Using some, uh, some, what is it, lemonade? Yellow? Lemonade? Yeah, some lemonade color. I don't, I mean, if it's a bright yellow, then that's fine. Because I know the vanilla from, from the vanilla content, once it's turned brown, it's going to bleed a little bit. So I already know that. I just got purple everywhere. Let's see if that's enough. I already know it's going to bleed, so I don't know. I'm putting it all in here in the whole thing, even though I did want multiple colors, but I'm like, it's going to turn chocolate brown anyway, so whatever. I am going to split the a little bit off just for the vanilla fragrance because it's going to turn chocolate brown so put a little bit of the uh what you call this the um <laughs> <laughs> Not the vanilla, the lavender, Lord. Put that on here. I don't know why I didn't just uh, mix it on with the stick blender. I should have. 
but it's too late now. I forgot. Just stay fast. I forgot that I had. <sighs> Because I think originally I wasn't going to put any fragrance in the yellow, but I kind of changed my mind at the last minute, so I'm going to add in a little bit. the vanilla
even see that it's starting to turn a little bit. You guys probably can't tell, but it's not as purple as when I um, put the fragrance in there. Before the fragrance, it was purple. Now it's like, it almost looks like it's turning grayish. So that's definitely the fragrance oil. I'm assuming it's gonna turn really brown. Even the purple is not gonna keep it from <laughs> turning brown because this fragrance oil is like, the vanilla content is serious, like it's really high. So I don't think, yeah, this, this purple, I knew the purple wasn't really gonna do anything about it anyway. So that's why I made sure I didn't put it in a whole soap. But hmm. even if it stayed like this, that would be cool. That would be okay. But it's definitely turning. I don't know if you can see the different colors. It's turning. I'm not even going to take a, uh, a, a hanger to it or anything because I know it was a, I mean, it wasn't really thick. I decreased my shea butter and upped my olive oil, so it wasn't extremely thick, but um, I don't know. I don't want to swirl it because I don't, once the color turns brown, I don't want it to bleed into the other colors, but it might. It might anyway. So, but I think to minimize bleeding of the vanilla and soap when it turns brown. You try and do as little as possible with as far as like, you know, messing with it, I guess. But we'll see. We'll definitely see how that turns out. So I'm so glad I put these cereal boxes down. It makes cleanup super easy, especially when soap is flying everywhere. <laughs> super easy. All I gotta do is fold this uh this box up and put it right in the recycle. about to do to the top because I don't know yet <laughs> I'm just winging it I have no idea what I'm about to do I don't know if I'm about to swirl it spoon it um, leave it like this I don't know we're gonna find out together cuz <laughs> I don't know it's gonna be I'm just I don't know think of it just... <laughs> I will think of it in a second I don't know don't know yet. And this is a small batch because I wanted to, I don't know, I had a couple people ask me if I had a vanilla, a lavender vanilla fragrance and I said, well, no, because I didn't want to buy anything with, with that high of a vanilla content, but I was like, I'll just have to come up with, you know, some type of design that incorporates it. 
I don't want to make the whole thing dark brown. So, let me see. I'm not sure yet. Using a uh, Woods Goodies lavender glitter I just got from her. It's so pretty. And this yellow glitter I got from a Destache group, so <laughs> I still know where they got it. And unfortunately, it's like really tightly taped closed. And of course, I didn't untape it before I started the video. It's like, look, it's really tightly taped closed should have thought about this before the video, but scissors. Definitely dropped too much there. See if I can um, disperse that glitter though. This is just an empty glitter container. 
I'm just uh, blowing air on the clumps of glitter and try and blow them around. Try to leave the regular purple on the top so uh you'll still see the purple and the yellow at the top but once it's cut once the brown set in it won't be on the top but you know it's probably be a little bit somewhere on the top thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the cutting video so let's cut la villa Sorry if you hear a bunch of uh, cars driving past. My window is open because in the summer this kitchen is like really hot. So, <laughs> so, so it was hard as a rock. First of all, it would help if I <laughs> if I tightened up the wire. Mind you, I had I. Had, Popped a, my second wire. Good thing I bought a pack of five of these. I popped my second wire and had to put another one on. So. crazy it smells really good I mean it's not crazy but someone mentioned to me uh, this fragrance or whatever or a combination of fragrances so I was like um, I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to do anything with vanilla but because of how brown it will turn but you can see this um, that part right there was also the same purple as this part and it didn't really turn fully brown yet, so I'm wondering if it's going to stay that color or turn all the way dark chocolate brown. So I guess we'll see. I didn't use a stabilizer in this soap or anything. And the vanilla content is extremely high. This fragrance is from Brambleberry, um, both fragrances. One's um, Labrador, the other one's Vanilla Select, it's called. Yeah, so the... Uh, percentage of vanilla is very high. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Wow. So that does turn brown. I'm okay with that. That smells really good. I don't know why, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so shocked. Because Usually you mix lavender with, you know, other, like, florals or, I don't know. I guess lavender is one of the universal fragrances you can mix with pretty much anything. So somebody said lavender vanilla, I was like, mm, okay. And I had a couple people actually ask me for a uh, lavender vanilla fragrance. I was like, you know what, let me just figure out what I would do with the vanilla before I actually buy it. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Even if it stayed this color, that still is this still looks really pretty. Even with the air bubbles and everything. some type of hanger sore or anything in there because I was afraid of once the brown kicked in it would just bleed all over the soap and I dropped it <laughs> and I dropped it <laughs> get that piece off of there 
that's okay. It's just a rounded corner. It's just a rounded corner. So the soap is not really as cold as I would like. <laughs> then again, my soaps never really are. Not at first. I'm trying to smooth out the, <laughs> the corner that I just dropped it. It's pretty though. So I think I picked the right design for this fragrance. It was just a drop swirl. Just a regular old drop swirl. Don't drop it. idea to put the yellow in there. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to do titanium dioxide either. I was just going to leave it like one part of the batter just uncolored and just, you know, drop swirl it in there. But, you know what? I was like, hmm. Maybe like a pale yellow? That wouldn't be bad. I feel like it was a really good choice. Because it just makes the purple pop. I would have made a bigger batch. Only made a small batch, so I'll only get nine soaps out of here. And I had posted it on my Instagram and my Facebook page. And already somebody bought two before I even cut it. Just from showing pictures of the top of the soap. This is the only little sample piece I get to have that I'm keeping for myself. <laughs> doesn't do anything to the soap. You know, it's just, I tapped it down, but didn't tap it down hard enough. I didn't want the soap to jump out, which is what it was doing when I tried to tap it down harder than uh, I was already doing it, you know? So, what can you do? Alright, so let me loosen this up. My problem is with the wire is when I'm tightening it, I'm not sure when I should stop tightening it. You know, every time I tighten it, it feels like it's not tight enough. But I'm glad I bought extra strings and I want to know how to put it on. Or else I'd be really, really horrible at it. So, thank you guys for coming back to watch my. I can't talk right now because I'm so tired <laughs> to watch my cutting video. So, we'll see you guys um, next time. And I'll leave you with that. Don't forget.
forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thank you.